हेलो एवरीवन लोंगानी क्लिनिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल वेलकम्स ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक फीवर देन होम्योपैथिक अप्रोच टुवर्ड्स द फीवर एंड नेसेसरी होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन फर्स्ट वील सी द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट वॉट इज फीवर अ फीवर इज अ टेम्पररी राइज इन द बॉडी टेम्परेचर it is a sign of your body's natural fight against the infection fever occurs as a result of body's defense mechanism against foreign bodies like bacteria fungi viruses toxins and drugs the infectious agents also called pyrogens signals the hypothalamus in the brain to increase the body temperature set point in order to help the body fight off the infection for adults a fever is when your temperature is higher than 100.4 degree fahrenheit the average normal body temperature is 98.6 degree fahrenheit or 37 degree celsius now we will see the what are the symptoms of the fever the main symptoms of fever include first elevated temperature above 100.4 degree fahrenheit then chills shivering shaking then body pain body aches and headache then fatigue or tiredness intermittent or constant sweating flush complexion or sometimes you will find hot skin then dizziness drowsiness feeling cold and stiffness then you will find sweating then what are the types of fever are there there are five common types you find one is a intermittent two is a remittent third is a continuous fever it is also called as sustained fever fourth one is a hectic fever fifth one is a relapsing fever means this is a type of intermittent fever that comes up again after days or weeks of normal temperature now we we'll see what is the homeopathic approach towards the fever the homeopathic remedies can be helpful in relieving fever symptoms and supporting the body's natural healing process each remedy is chosen based on the patient's unique symptoms such as the type of fever the presence of chill sweating thirst and other accompanying symptoms in homeopathy the treatment for fever is individualized based on the patient's specific symptoms and overall health the homeopathic practitioner will take a detailed history and perform the physical examination to determine the appropriate remedy here are the few common homeopathic remedies for fever now we will see the first medicine that is aconite in aconite you will find fever with restlessness and anxiety aconite is the perfect remedy for the first stage of inflammatory fever it is a natural remedy of great help when the fever is accompanied by extreme nervousness or extreme nervous restlessness and anxiety the patient feels an increased thirst for cold water and the body aches are intolerable the use of medicine aconite should always be considered when the fever has risen after the sudden exposure to the cold winds or cold air the skin of aconite patient becomes red hot and shining aconite is the acute of sulfur and both precedes and follows it in acute inflammatory condition now we will see the second medicine that is belladonna fever of 
इन्फ्लमेटरी ओरिजिन बेनाडोना इज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट रेमेडीज टू बी थॉट और दे आर थॉट ऑफ इन दोज केसेस वेर देर इज अ फीवर विथ पेन इन द थ्रो विच इज ऑल्सो सोर रेड एंड इनफ्लेम डूरिंग फीवर द हेड बिकम्स हॉट एंड पेनफुल फेस इज फ्लश आईज वाइड स्टेरिंग प्यूपिल्स आर डायलेटेड पल्स फुल एंड बाउंडिंग माउथ ड्राई स्लीपी but cannot sleep another medicines are chamomilla and opium but the feet are cold internally it feels cold but externally there is a very strong burning heat no thirst during the fever convulsions during teething with fever belladonna is the acute of calcarea which is often required to complete the cure now we'll see the third medicine that is a ferum fos this remedy is indicated during the first stage of catarrhal and febrile disturbances and inflammation before the exudation has taken place in the early stages of febrile conditions it stands midway between asthenic activity of aconite and belladonna and the asthenic sluggishness and torpidity of gelsemium the typical ferum for subject is not full blooded and robust but nervous sensitive anemic with the false plethora and easy flushing of ferum prostration is marked in ferum fos face more active than the gelsemium the superficial redness never assumes the dusky hue of gelsemium pulse is soft and flowing no anxious restlessness of aconite chill daily at 1 pm the ferum fos person or the people of ferum fos is that he or she has a lower fever and is more alert than one who needs belladonna but less upset and fearful than one who needs aconite where a patient with the belladonna profile may have a face that is flush all over with fever the ferum fos patient has clearly defined pink or red patches on the cheeks now we will see the fourth medicine that is bryonia alba for fever with body ache bryonia alba is the natural medicine for patients in whom body aches predominates during the fever along with chills chill with extreme coldness you will find such a person wants to lie down still to get relief and slight motion worsens his or her condition so motion aggravates there is also an increased thirst for cold water in large quantities and dryness of mouth there is dry cough with stitching pain in the chest easy profuse perspiration occurs even you will find constipation along with the fever symptoms gets worse from warmth and motion and touch but one feels better by rest pressure lying on the painful side bryonia affects especially the constitution of a robust firm fiber and dark complexion the next medicine is gelsemium fever with weakness gelsemium has been considered an excellent remedy for treatment of influenza flu it is very beneficial in fever cases where the patient suffers from weakness dizziness drowsiness dullness trembling and even the tendency to faint 
पेशेंट्स वॉन्ट्स टू बी हेल्ड बिकॉज ही शेक्स सो द पेशेंट एक्सपीरियंसेस इज मच मस्क्यूलर सोरनेस अलॉन्ग विथ फीवर देर इज सीवियर हेड एक द पेशेंट फील्स चिलीनेस अप एंड डाउन द बैक देर इज एन एबसेंस ऑफ थर्स्ट इन मोस्ट केसेस तो जेलसी में मीन्स थर्स प्लेस पेशेंट इज वर्स बाय डैम्प वेदर बैड न्यूज टोबैको स्मोकिंग फील्स बेटर बाय प्रोफ्यूज यूरिनेशन एंड स्टिम्यूलेंट्स नेक्स्ट मेडिसिन इज यूफटोरियम परफोलिएटम फीवर विथ बोनी पेन और बोन पेन इट्स नैचुरल ऑर्डर इज कंपोजिटी यूफटोरियम परफोलेटम इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एफिशियंट फीवर रेमेडीज इन होम्योपैथी इट इज ऑफ ग्रेट हेल्प टू ट्रीट फीवर वेन द पेशेंट एक्सपीरियंसेज सीवियर बोन पेन This remedy is indicated in bilious and intermittent fevers especially dengue and influenza when there are severe pain in the back and leg as though the bones were broken with soreness of the eyeball and yellowness of conjunctiva and face this remedy provides quick relief from pain the main indication that can be given more importance while taking euphotorium perfoliatum for fever is that the character of fever is periodic repeated at certain fixed intervals other periodicity or periodicity medicines are arsenic china and sidron The chill stage is accompanied by intense aching and bone pains. The patient shivers and shakes with agonizing pain in the head and eyes. The character of pain is bruise and the patient feels as if beaten. Though it can be given for any kind of fever, it is a leading remedy for dengue, influenza, and malaria its modalities are worse periodically better by conversation by getting on hands and feet now we will see the seventh remedy that is rustox fever with extreme body ache rustox is one of the top natural medicines for persons who have fever with extreme body aches leading to the restlessness such a person wants to remain in motion to get relief first motion aggravation better by continued motion rustox is also the natural medicine for fever as a result of getting wet in the rain thirst is present in fever cases during fever there is shivering all over the body tongue becomes dry red and the red triangular tip you will find in rustox with stretching pain in the body extreme restlessness with continued change of position desire for milk is marked in rustox rustox is a complementary medicine for bryonia and inimical medicine of rustox is apis mellifica now we will see the eighth medicine that is arsenicum ul fever with mark exhaustion arsenic ul can be thought of in cases of typhoid and malarial fever periodicity is marked with body burning pains there is a weakness restlessness exhaustion and aggravation during the night the complaints gets worse by the slightest movement and feels better after applying heat or warmth ameliorates in the heat stage there is an inclination to uncover as there is dry heat with thirst at the end of the fever stage there is cold and clammy sweat sometimes along with fever the gastric symptoms also exist such as colic nausea loose motion with heaviness in the stomach 
Now this is some of the important symptoms of arsenic call. We will find in arsenic there is a debility, exhaustion, restlessness, nightly aggravation are most important. Then you will find great exhaustion after slightly exertion. Then you will find burning pains. Then unquenchable thirst, thirst for small quantity of cold water at shorter interval. Then burning relieved by heat. Then seaside complaints. Then the mind you will find fear, fright and worry. Arsenic is very useful for septic infection and low vitality. Now we will see the ninth medicine that is China, Cinchona officialis. This remedy is indicated in those who were once stout and robust but on account of debilitating influences they have become broken down as a result of exhausting discharges or loss of vital fluids such as hemorrhages or excessive lactation and as a result there is debility, trembling, aversion to exercise, nervous erythism and sensitiveness to touch, pain or draughts. In China, the periodicity is marked, useful for intermittent fever which returns every week, debilitating night sweat you will find in China. In general, worse by slightest touch every other day, loss of vital fluids and better by bending double, hard pressure and warmth. Ferrum Foss and Calcarea Foss are complementary medicines to the China. The now we will see the tenth medicine that is Baptitia. Allen says when arsenic has improperly given or too often repeated in typhoid, it should be remembered in typhoid fever when of a low septic type, the tongue yellow brown in the center. Stupor falls asleep while being spoken to or, or in the midst of his answer. When spoken to answers correctly but delirium returns at once, the medicine is Arnica. Painless sore throat. This remedy is indicated when there is a great prostration both mental and physical with a tendency to decomposition of fluids of the body. All the discharges are offensive, breath, sweat, urine, feces are fetid and there is a fetor from the whole body, ulceration of the mucous membrane in septic diseases with sore bruise filling of all muscles of the body and profound debility. On the mind you will find illusion of divided personality, thinks he is broken or double and tosses about the bed trying to get pieces together. Another medicine is Kajuputam. In whatever position the patient lies, the part rested upon feels sore and bruise. The medicine, other medicine is Pyrogen. Next medicine is Pyrogen. In septic fevers, especially purpural. Pyrogen has demonstrated its great value as a homeopathic dynamic antiseptic. Pulse abnormally rapid, out of all proportion to the temperature. Another medicine is Lilium tea. Chill begins on the back, between scapulae, severe, general of bones and extremities, marking onset of septic fever. Temperature 103 to 106, heat sudden, skin dry and burny, pulse rapid, small, wiry, 140 to 170, cold, clammy sweat follows. Now we will see the important symptoms of pyrogen. Pyrogen is the great remedy for septic states with intense restlessness, hectic, typhoid, typhus, tomine poisoning, diphtheria, dissecting wound, severe gas poisoning, chronic malaria, after effects of miscarriage, all these conditions at times may present symptoms called for this unique remedy. Taste, fetid or pus-like taste you will find in pyrogen. 
the tongue large flabby smooth as if varnish the bed feels hard like arnica parts lain on feel sore and bruised like baptisia all discharges of pyrogen are very offensive threatening heart failure in septic fever this medicine should not be repeated too frequently as in advance or as advised by bori so pyrogen should not be repeated too often bryonia is the complementary medicine to the pyrogen now we'll see the quick review of all the medicines fast belladonna this remedy is often used for sudden onset of fevers that comes on quickly and are accompanied by flushed face hot skin and intense thirst second one ferum fos this remedy is often used for low grade fevers and that are accompanied by fatigue weakness and lack of appetite third one gelsimium this remedy is often used for fevers that are accompanied by chills headache and a feeling of heaviness or weakness in the limbs four pulsatilla this remedy is often used for fevers that are accompanied by lack of thirst a desire for fresh open air and need for emotional support fifth one arsenic this remedy is often used for fevers that are accompanied by restlessness anxiety and desire for small quantity of water next medicine is solanum lycopersicum that is tomato pain left after influenza especially the muscular pain then seventh one this is the polyporous pinicola rheumatic pains after chikungunya or dengue then next medicine is natrum salicyclicum one of the best remedies for the prostrating after effects of influenza pyrogen septic fever pulse abnormally rapid out of all proportion to the temperature now we'll see the last the concluding part homeopathic remedies for fever are safe gentle and effective when prescribed by a qualified homeopathic practitioner thank you for listening the lecture on fever with homeopathic approach and necessary homeopathic remedies if you like the video then please do subscribe and share our channel longani clinics thank you